Anything that's done, swung to the boundary. Doesn't matter what time of the day it is to Nathan Astle. Might well be the last over for lunch, but if it's short and wide, it'll go. That's in the air, but it'll only bounce a couple of times before going over the rope at uh, extra cover. Lofted away into the leg side and away for four. Beaten mid off. I'm sure Nasser Hussain didn't miss time his run at that ball. One of England's better outfielders is still concerned with that uh, finger injury. 154 for three. That's past uh, cover point. Four more to Assault. in the air but uh, all the way to the boundary typical Nathan Astle shot there to be hit and he's uh, not shy of putting back to ball yeah. four more here so three boundaries in the over plus a two it's an expensive one 189 for three Well done, Flintoff gets his man. A little bit of seam movement back at Fleming. And uh, a thin inside edge, it's a good catch by the keeper as well. Credit to him, because they're always difficult when the ball uh, nips back. Well, that's the wicket they wanted. Inside edge, and a terrific catch. Good movement, Stephen Fleming, that's the big wicket for England. He's gone for 48, it's 189 for four. Got that through. That's a convincing stroke. Yeah. Oh, he's got him fending at that and pushing it away. There's no third man out. I think there should be a third man. If you're going to bowl short like this, then uh, you should have a third man in. Nonetheless, it's uh, Nathan Astle's 50. And it's come up in 54 balls. Well, it's gone down. Don't get much warning there. Well, it would have been one of the great catches, wouldn't it? This will this will be good. Oh, there we are. I mean, he had no chance, really, did he? He would have sensed the ball rather than seeing it. In the air again, but uh, smashed past mid-off for four. That's away for four as well. Or is it six? It's gone straight over the rope for a maximum. Astle so quickly into position there. Gee, what a great example of a hook shot this is. How quickly did he get himself into position? Boom. Look at that. He's hit that flat. That'll bring up the 50 partnership in very fine style indeed. Lofted 20 rows back into the DB stand. Beautifully executed stroke. It's in the air and he's got it. First ball. Craig mcmillan has gone for the drive, he's driven it straight back to Andy Caddock. And England on the road to victory. And Andy Caddock holds on. Brought back into the attack. What a good change this is. And I'll bet that's a loose nip. It's a long half volley. Loses his shape completely. Macmillan. Easy as that. Easy as that, Andy Caddock. Back into the attack, he's got four for Mike Millen 24, New Zealand 242 for five. Aye, aye. 
That's it. Off stump out the ground. Adam Perori is gone. And that's the 11th time that Andy Caddick has taken five weeks in innings. And it's the seventh time he's done it out of those 11 in the second innings. He's on song today. Bowling for England. Winning the game, a part of it. Nick on. And it's always leg stump, isn't it? Inside edge onto leg stump. Caddick back into the attack. That's another for him. Adam Perori. Brief glimpse of him. 252 for six. Oh, slashed away and it's gone. Shouts to catch it, but uh, I don't think there's anyone in the vicinity. Well, there's shouts to catch, but uh, that's smashed away. Nicely timed, isn't it? Beautifully timed, in fact. And that is 3,000 test match runs for Nathan Astle. Significant landmark for him. Nicely played again. That flashes away. Seen plenty of boundaries in this match. A match full of incident, full of runs in the second innings anyway bowlers had a field day in the first they've had to work much harder in the second innings as is the game and just to finish off on that selection bob but to round it off one ball left in the over you may see a reaction in the papers too because uh, everyone will be expecting matthew sinclair to come back might not happen four more both sides of the wicket daniel vittori 285 for six. He's gone for it. We'll just get his foot. Oh, it's gone straight through Craig White. And up comes Nathan Ash. Still celebrates. What an entertaining innings it has been. Century coming up in just 114 balls. His third against England, one in each series that he's played. 102 not out at Auckland in 97, 101 at Old Trafford in 1999, and now 101 not out at Christchurch 2002. Well, it's been a wonderful innings. Brilliant, in fact. It's going to be in a lost cause, and they perhaps never feel quite as good. And we'll see. Can't believe that uh, Craig White missed this. <laughs> Can't believe his luck. Now, shall we talk about the other aspect of it? <laughs> Hope he makes the 11 in Wellington. He might not be the 12th man. Lintoff continues to test the middle of the pitch and continues to go for boundaries. 300 comes up for New Zealand. Well, they're still in there fighting. 250 needed for victory. He's gone. Daniel Vittori caught by Flintoff. And the first wicket in the match for a slow bowler. Flint off the catcher at the mid-wicket. Trying to drag it away and not getting the timing. That's uh, the value of having a tall man with good hands at mid-wicket. The Tory goes for 12 and New Zealand are 300 for 7. Close. Nod of the head and the vertical finger. Off goes drum, LBW. I think uh, Ahsoka De Silva may have decided no proper stroke was played there. 
Drum goes for naught. That's another duck in this test match. New Zealand 301 for eight. Probably just one wicket away now from defeat. Well, I'm not sure Flintoff thought that was that brilliant. Wouldn't be the biggest uh, shout I've ever seen in my life, but it got the desired result. Drum goes for a duck. 301 for eight. Astle's gone after that. He's found the gap again. Yet another boundary for Nathan Astle. Two sixes and 18 fours now. Well, that's what give him the new ball. It'll come off a lot quicker. Nothing to lose. You're going to put seam on at both ends. Five balls doesn't make any difference. That's away past Vaughan for four more. Beautiful timing from uh, Nathan Astle. That's crashed away through the covers for four more. Astle uh, trading exclusively in boundaries. That's four more. Smash back down the ground. Cameraman just got out the way. See what he's hit that hard. A big sort of bottom hand punch straight back over the bowler's head. He'll be really enjoying this, Nathan. That's I mean, the game's gone. He knows that. There's nothing he can do. And, uh, it's not the worst delivery, but it's a very good shot. Look at the cameraman ducking and diving. I don't blame him. George uh, just got out the way. And again, 0-4-2-4-4 in this over. It's the way to greet the new ball. And you said uh, it often comes onto the bat nicely on pitches like this. He's going off it pretty well, Ian. Oh, I, don't, I mean, when you're in this situation, it's actually, uh, you can have a lot of fun for a short period of time. going to be another four I think spiraling away over a backward point for four more 18 off the over it's 3-3-3 three, three, three for eight good edge and gone Butler's gone I think England uh, will think they've won the match here maybe they don't because uh, Butler's gone The thinnest of edges through to the keeper. Sixth wicket for Caddick. Butler has gone. Butler's gone for four. It's 3-3-3 three, three, three for nine. And he goes again. That's gone uh, many, many a mile. Way back into the stand. Cairns joins in with a thumping uh, drive down the ground for six. It's uh, beginning to uh, be no joke, this, for Matthew Hoggard. Yeah. And that's going to be his 150 with another four. Super timing. This is 25th four, three sixes, 118 in boundaries out of this 152. Magnificent knock. Strike rate of 111.8. Uh, great entertainment.